Molly. It is Wednesday, April 19th, and this is Who's to Say. I just got done running on a treadmill, um, and the only time I could find it's really bright to film this video for you this week is right now because I'm having a really busy week. And the last two weeks, I've been suffering from an asthma flare up and basically couldn't breathe and couldn't exercise, and it was a really miserable two weeks. Uh, because, let me, hold on, I gotta walk through a tree and not get stung by a wasp. Uh, whew. It's, a, it's a treacherous walk back to my apartment. Um, anyway, so I've been suffering from an asthma flare-up for two weeks, which basically means that I can't breathe. And if I can't breathe, I obviously can't run or do anything like that. And exercise is really, really critical to my mental health. Um, I'm a very high energy person, and if I don't expend that energy, uh, it starts to wear on me mentally. Um, I like lose my ability to focus. Um, I get really anxious and uh, unhappy generally. So not being able to exercise has been like really miserable. I'm not one of those people who likes to run just for the sake of running. I actually think running is the worst form of exercise, but it's currently the only form of exercise available to me, so that's what I do. Um, but it's definitely better than feeling like I'm gonna buzz out of my own head and feeling like I can't do anything and I can't focus and I'm incompetent. So yeah, basically this video is mostly to say that, I don't know, it's been a really kind of miserable two weeks but I feel better and I can breathe and I can exercise again, which just vastly improves my mental health and my ability to function every day in the real world as an adult. Um, and since I didn't have anything else to talk about, I guess I thought I would give you a kind of a life update and that little spiel about exercise and mental health and the importance of those things. My mental health I've discovered with time is tied very closely to my physical health. So things like exercise and diet and sleep all super impact it. I'm sure that's true for a lot of people, um, but my anxiety triggers are pretty much tied directly to physical things. So, well that said, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and I will talk to you next week. You always look super cute in your videos and I am literally a sweaty hot mess right now. Welcome to spring in Texas.